previously on New Zealand's biggest ever renovation show. The couple's first room makeover started with a bang. This is an excessive noise direction. Their first challenge stretched their skills to the limit. That's not good. As they battle to win money towards renovating their houses oh. and getting the best price come auction day. Give me a gun. Ginny and Reese, And for Victor's Ginny and Reese, there was a twist that could still turn the block upside down. The winners get the option to swap their house with any other oh, couple on no the block. No way. Are you serious? What? Tonight, a distressing challenge that proves too much for some. <laughs> It's all right. It's a race against time to present their first rooms. Let's go, go, go! In just one week and with a limited budget. All to impress the judges. Not going to Dreadful paint job. Some harsh comments coming out from the judges. The winner of that room will win a Prezi card loaded with $3,000 from Kiwi Bank. But first, will Ginny and Reese change houses and change the course of the game? We are petrified as our house. Guess our life is in their hands. So have you come to a decision? After a long sleepless night, we've decided that... With every big project, you need the right team for the job. You've got everything you need to be the best on your block. <laughs> Bunnings Warehouse, helping build the Block NZ. now. Back on day one on the Block NZ, the couples raced to get their first choice of houses. Number three. Three. Home sweet home. To get the one they believed would earn the most on auction day. Seriously, I want to go home. Now those choices are in jeopardy. So we get called out by Mark to the uh, back end of our houses. And we know that Reese and Ginny are about to make their decision on whether they're going to switch houses. And we are petrified it's our house. We're actually pretty convinced they're going to choose our place. Well, here we are, guys. Ginny and Reese are about to make a potentially game-changing decision. Mm. Anyone nervous? Yeah. yeah. yeah we're very very nervous. <laughs> Reese and Ginny, get in here. We are feeling really nervous. I guess our life is in their hands, so to speak. Don't you two look smug. Ginny and Reese. By winning the Bunnings Warehouse wall-to-wall -wall challenge, you won the right to swap your house with any couple on the block. So last night, you were able to go through and look into everyone's houses and decide whether you did want to make a change. So have you come to a decision? Yep. Yes, we have. Let's start with the couple's house that you wanted the least. I think that's pretty self-explanatory there. And the house we don't want to borrow off is... House number one, Tossin. I love you guys. Yeah. I was so elated. I was because yeah. I was ready to puke. Two houses left. So which is the next one that you wanted the least? Well, this was a really hard decision for us because they're both not too bad. But the next one was house number three. <laughs> Holy! Awesome. Absolute Just, relief. Like, yeah. I'm actually still shaking. I was so nervous yeah. that we're moving out. My heart's still going. Well, so far, we're, we're headed towards a happy story. That could all change. <laughs> Couldn't it, Sarah and Richard? We are feeling really nervous. We love this house, and so we understand why someone else would love it too. Well, let's get down to it then. Ginny and Reese, do you want to swap houses? with Sarah and Richard. This was a really big call for us. It was our second choice and we did like what we saw. So after a long sleepless night, we've decided that we are gonna shift all of our gear into a new room at our house. Oh. <laughs> and stay where we are. Oh, fantastic, so we have got a happy 
happy story. I think Sarah's tears turned to happy tears and we're kind of relieved. Cheeky, <laughs> cheeky. We just love our house. We've made plans for it, so this is where we're going to be and this is where we're going to win the block. Our four couples are now nicely settled into their new homes, getting into reno mode and ready to deliver their first room at the end of the week. It's their second bedroom and everyone is desperate to stand out for the judges first up. At the moment we're making some custom artwork for our wall using recycled skirting board from the room that we've just pulled apart. We've sort of defined our style as relaxed contemporary. So we've got our feature of the room, which is the massive bed head, which is pretty much running the length of the wall. Right in the middle there is going to go the bed, and then either side we're going to have these sort of industrial style bedside tables. Plan of attack today, got our jibby doing all the jib stopping. That needs to dry before we can start painting. Might have to have some hair dryers going on it. It's yeah. touch and go. Next door at house number two. The builders got here real early this morning, so we're cracking into it. We've lost the window behind us. New ranch slide is going to be going in. We're going for a sort of modern contemporary look. We've got a big fancy Italian bed, so that's going to be our centerpiece. Against the wall facing the bed, we've got a simple desk. Above the desk, there's going to be a, a nice lamp and a nice canvas uh, that comes over the desk. I think today will be a lot of painting. We'll have to seal everything first, obviously, and then paint, and then paint, and we'll paint some more. There's plenty of action across the fence at house number one. OK, so huge progress. We've now got our aluminium windows and doors fitted. Uh, so that's going to bring a lot of light into essentially a small room. We're going for a look that is classic with a few contemporary pieces in it. So the bed is going directly in the middle. It's going to be a feature wall. On each side, there's going to be two mirrored bedside tables. In between the wardrobe and the entrance door, there's going to be a three-drawered mirrored Poor boy. Rich. Yeah? What are you doing, mate? Um, working out the budget. Okay. We are going to stay on track, okay? Zook, zook, zook. We're gonna put everything in here. Our fabrics, labour, every little thing we buy is gonna go in here. Jeez, I love you. Do you? I, thought, I honestly thought I was coming up to catch you skiving off. Sleeping? Sleeping. I want to. I bet. All right. yeah. As you were. Okay. Along at house number four, all important bedroom storage is on their minds. It is quite hard because it is the first room, so there's a lot of decisions to be made that is going to be carried out through the house. Just over here, that's where our double bed's going to go. Two bedside tables either side with lighting on it. Also, our wardrobe here, that's going to be another feature. And we're thinking of like a big painting or some form of a print over on this bare wall just to sort of break the room a little bit. We're feeling pretty confident with this week's room. Definitely keen to get on with it and get this thing done and looking good. The couple's next step is sourcing those vital furnishings, which will make a difference to their finished rooms. First up, they must decide whether to cover the damaged timber floors with carpet. This is our new product, Smart Strand Silk. Oh, that's pretty good, eh? Yeah. Meanwhile, Rachel and Tyson are making the bed the centrepiece of their room. Oh, my goodness. Dive into it. <gasps> oh, oh, seriously? This is nice. It's got good feet on it, mate, eh? Oh, yeah, solid New Zealand pot. Good feet. But this is oh. good because it gives us enough distance because we've been spending too much time together. Yeah, that's right. You don't want to be too close. Oh, fantastic. Well, you know what? We'll take it. Cool. Just like that? Just like that. Rachel is always making impulse decisions and I'm forever having to rein her in. Always. I am not. Yes, I am. I'm thinking we will now take the drawers. Really? Yeah. Uh, you serious? Yeah. What have I bought on an impulse? Um, like everything we own. <laughs> <laughs> so how do our contestants afford all the best fixtures and fittings? Well, I've given them $25,000 in cash plus vouchers for hardware, kitchens, bathrooms, lighting and more. That's $100,000 for each couple that they will need to pay for tradies and to furnish their homes. And there's even more chances to win cash and prizes along the way. So, with that in mind, Shannon's got a little challenge for them. And I don't think they're going to like it. Jim, we've got a text. Meet Shannon. At the Challenge Warehouse in 15 minutes. As long as we don't lose our house. 
Oh, that's so much to do. Each challenge can help the contestants win prizes for their houses and therefore increase their chances of getting the best price on auction Ooh. day. Mystery box. We walk into the warehouse and what we can see is sort of a square object underneath the tarpaula. Good morning, you lot. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to our warehouse. It's good to see you're all getting into the spirit of renovating your houses. It's not too distressing, I hope. Oh, uh, I know. It's all good. Well, today is going to be distressing. In fact, today is all about distressing, turning something new into something old. Yeah. Are you curious as to what's underneath that tarp there? Yeah. yeah. Ben, would you like to do the honours? Remove the tarp. Dirty drawers. As far as furniture goes, this is ordinary stuff, and you guys need to make it worse. I mean distressing it into an old antique-style masterpiece, giving it some real character. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> this is kind of more up my alley. Distressing furniture and that kind of treatment of stuff, anything quite visual like that. Judging today, the fabulous Cedo Kitchen, editor of Women's Day magazine, which, as we know, has some great home makeover ideas. <laughs> so hopefully you guys will all impress Cedo today with your crafty work. Right, one member from each team, stick your hand up. In the top drawer of each of your tall boys is a shopping list. Grab that, keep it close to your chest, show no one. Say nothing, not even to your partner. Get it. You need to describe to your partner what they need to get on that list and what they need to do. You cannot write anything down and you cannot use any of the words that are written in red. Yep, we're playing charades. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you have 20 minutes to complete stage one of this challenge. Your time starts now. So Shannon tells us that we have to take this generic tall boy and make it authentic and original, and we have to do it through charades. <laughs> Slap. <laughs> Your tall boy with a... It was all just very confusing, and we ran into troubles. Your tall boy with a rope, with a neck with a collar, with a leash, with a lead. Just thinking, just thinking. <gasps> oh my god! So we've got it, Race. There's four things. Nails, hammer, coin, chain. Yep. I've guessed the objects, take off the bunnings running up the road there. All I'm saying is nails, hammer, coin, chain. <laughs> Dollars, coins. Go in. Hit. Your tall boy. Hit your tall boy with the chain. Whiff it with a chain. <laughs> Whiff it with a chain. Thing. Hammer with a nail, make holes. Hammer yeah, with a yeah, good boy. Nice work. Well, last night, Rach must have pitched her sciatica nerve, and today the challenge involves some running, which just backtracked us. The contestants need to get heavy metal chain. Roughly a metre. Hammers, nails, and coins to distress their tall boy. Race gets back from Bunnings. No, he's got all the right stuff, so we just start smashing it up a bit. Good job, Ben. Good, real good. Real good. Sorry, me. Look at that chain. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call it? So bad. <laughs> so Ben comes back with a much smaller gauge of chain than everyone else. I guess in my mind I was probably visualising something more chunky. Pretty heavy handed there. We have established between Richard and I that Richard may get a little bit excited. Yeah, it's got a crack. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Still in demolition phase from back at the block, and I kind of just let out a bit of frustration and attack this uh, our tall boy with a chain. It's antique. It's good. While three of the couples are really smashing this challenge, the fourth couple is dragging the chain thanks to Rachel's back injury. I'm really, really sore. So we just have to distress it. Yeah. We've got one minute. This is a one minute call. Three, two, one. Oh, Tall's down, everyone.
Right, on to part two of the challenge. You guys, as a team, have to choose a paint colour for your tall boy. Your runner has to go and get the paint. Your time starts now. So I run up to Bunnings, <laughs> straight to the paint. Oh, ben and Rich beat me there, so I had to wait in line. Boys. About Tom Sumner, want to challenge anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh
Yeah. All right, 10 seconds, guys. Shucks, a little bit of what? This. Get that put there. Three, two, one, tools down. Now it's time for stage four, the most crucial stage. You guys need to turn this terrible mess that you've created into a vintage masterpiece. I've got some goodies in front of me, various grains of sandpaper, some various stains, also some new handles. And you guys have 20 minutes to bring this home. And at the end of this challenge is a fantastic prize. Off to work. We don't want to rush it, we don't want to stuff it up at this point. What did you go for with your hand? Um, we went for um, knockers because we felt like these are really genuine artifacts. Artifacts. <laughs> if you will. Yeah, yeah. How, yeah. how vintage is this? Exactly. So we thought that and did the trick. What final look are you going? I spent a bit of time in France and they had lots of distressed looking furniture there, so old, old French farmhouse look. Yes, Great. French farmhouse, I like that. Sounds like some pretty oh, heavy sand yeah. going on over there. Going back to their original. So the pressure started to come on in the last few minutes and I was running out of time. I really wanted to get as much sanded as I could. So I've got a sander in one hand and sandpaper in the other hand and I'm trying to get as much sanded as possible but I wasn't really saving too much time off me. <laughs> Not really. So the final touch is trying to walk the line of doing enough but not doing too much. I think that's enough, Richard. Yes, boss. So one minute call, guys. We've got one minute to go. There is a huge prize on the line. Stuff it off, baby. Stuff it off. Stuff it off. Ah! Let's not make these look cold. Richard? Yeah, I've just got to get this one. I'll just leave it. This might help. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Hands off. Now it's time to judge all of your hard work, but there's a twist. Our four couples have had just 80 minutes to beat up, go, 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 go. paint, and distress brand new what? tall boys into antique furniture. Ah! That's everything. They've had their ups and downs. Oh, I don't want to do this anymore. But now it's the moment of truth. Now it's time to judge all of your hard work, but there's a twist. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Women's Day editor Cedo Kitchen will be responsible for 50% of your score. The rest? You'll be judging each other. You'll have to score each other out of 10. Ooh. Here we go. No way. I think definitely the best one was Rachel and Tyson's. It looked really cool and it fitted the brief. The worst one, I would have to say, was ours. Okay, guys, you've got 30 seconds to come up with your final scores. So remember, you are judging a distressed vintage antique tall boy. All right, guys, give me your cards and your pens. Right, the judging is completed. Want to know what you've been playing for? Yes, yes, please, yes. Please, please. The winning team will receive a luxurious Euro-class wardrobe upgrade and installation thanks to Innovative Interiors for your master bedroom. This includes a range of accessories. You've got tie racks, shoe drawers, and jewellery drawers. <laughs> Every girl loves a decent wardrobe, and it's a huge added value to your house come auction day. Now, Cedo, you've got the final scores. It's a tough call, a fantastic effort by all of you, but the first to go, the Ginny and Reese. <laughs> first to last. <laughs> there was a bit of an 80s splatter paint thing going on, I thought, rather than an antique distressed look. A good effort. Yeah. Yeah, we... Zero to zero in 20 minutes. <laughs> That's all it takes, mate. Yeah. Third position. This is a tough one. There were two in the middle that were quite close. But Richard and Sarah. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, fantastic teamwork, guys. But probably more shabby chic or beach house than antique distressed. It's kind of like you put all this effort in and you're like, damn it, I just want something to show for it. Yeah. <laughs> we have two couples left. Tyson and Rachel, Ben and Libby. 
So, in second position, we have Ben and Libby. Yeah. I'm not going to lie, I'm gutted with the results. I was so sure we had this. We seem to keep getting second, which is so frustrating. Are you sure it's not around the wrong way? You know, it's upside down because it's normally no, worse. at the bottom. No, seriously, is it because... At the beginning of the final round, you were at the bottom. But you guys just pulled out all stops and amazing effort. Congratulations. Well done. Enjoy your new wardrobe. Yes. Finding out we'd won was unbelievable. And we really needed to win this challenge because we were getting quite oh, disheartened. Man. Congratulations, everyone. Great challenge. Off you go and you can take your drawers home with you. Yay. Thank you. Back at the block, with just one day to go until judging, it's time to see where the contestants are at. Oh, I like the windows. Yeah, oh, good. Big difference. Yeah. Hello. Hello. We're uh, well on our way to finishing the first room, I guess, so you better show us through it, eh? Yeah, going to lead the way. Follow us, eh? You notice our lovely overheight doors that we've put in place yeah. here? Yeah. Oversized, almost wall to wall bed head. And how are you going to finish the wood on there? It's going to be kind of a charcoal-y sort of colour stain. It's going to give it a lovely sort of fresh modern feel, isn't it? Yeah, it will be modern, but not overbearingly modern, nice and homely. Yeah. Holy moly! Feels like I've stepped forward in time. You guys are painting. I know. Wow. Wow, wait. You put it in the hard yards, mate. Yeah. G'day. Honestly, I've seen you two have your moments, but you get the job done, don't you? This is base coat. I take it it's not the colour that you're going to end with? No, no, the colour we're going to end with is the colour in the wardrobe there, which is Dulux Cadrona Double. It's a nice colour. It is quite neutral on the walls and stuff, but we've got some bright artwork and some bright um, duvet and pillars and stuff that will sort of make the room pop. What we did was, because we're not having drawers, um, we've got this. We put we put drawers into our wardrobe. Oh, I love that! So that you can put your clothes and stuff in there and you don't have to clutter the room up. It might have cost us a little bit more, but I think it's worth it in the long run. Yeah. Impressive, impressive work. I want one. All right, budget. You on top of it? Totally. We I have know. been really budget conscious, except for the bedside tables, which are a bit pricey. But they had to happen. Why are they pricey? What, what's special about them? Um, the mirrored. I want to see this. I don't know. <laughs> I know. The first time I saw them, I was a bit freaked out. But Tyson, the, Tyson won't like them at first, but he'll warm to them. You haven't seen them? No. Only a no. picture. Only a picture. No, I've heard of mirrors on the wall, the ceiling. No, no, no. no there's no, there's no pink champagne on ice here, man. <laughs> Look, this room at the moment, is, it, it is quite incomplete. There's about oh. 24 hours to go. Are you confident you're going to get all finished? I'm going to smash it. The couples have just one more night to finish their rooms as Judgment Day looms. And with a hard night's work ahead and their partners out shopping, it's the boys on the barbie. Here you go, boss. We've made you a coffee. <laughs> Cappuccino. Quiet without that lot, though, isn't it? Damn quiet. <laughs> Where's old uh, Tyson? Yeah, where is Python? Yeah, chauffeur. <laughs> is he? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> Rach can't drive. Oh, true. No license. Yeah, oh, yeah. be loving it. Yeah. It must be a bit of a disadvantage for Noe, because we can be out here working like true men and he's out shopping. Oh, buddy, oh, oh no. the missus is ringing. <laughs> Make it quick, I'm flat out. <laughs> Last minute shopping out of the way. This will be an all-night paint-a-thon. Slightly shaky hand from too much caffeine. Ideally, we'd like to take the ceiling off, but we're not confident that it's quite dry enough. So we're going for the old-school freehand method. We've never hung wallpaper before. I was so excited, I went to cut off the top um, strap and ripped it. In my heart, and then here you can see I'm about two millimeters off the top of the ceiling. The wallpaper still looks good, right? You better get your solutions happening, sweetheart. Maybe I'll try to, if I've got enough time, hang it again. But my glue's got all gluggy because it was in Spanish. The instructions, oh, it's senorita, you, you should have been fine. This is going to be a long night on the block NZ. One more day to go before big reveal day. Rach is having a rest. About to do a bit of sanding and then start with my trimmings. 
and then wait for each up to do some walk back. Oh. It's almost up us one. Just discovered that we're missing a tin of paint. <laughs> so we can't complete um, our doors, so that's a bit of a balls up. Well, it's now being on two o'clock, and just finished the second coat on the ceiling. day seven on the block. All our teams now have three hours to go before they present their first rooms to the judges. And the winner will get $3,000 from Kiwi Bank. So the stakes are high because $3,000 could be the difference between winning and losing this whole competition. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Yeah, we're looking forward to carpet, it's going to be brilliant. This is freaking it's phenomenal. Nice. You're the best. Thank you so much. Carpet's going down. Shopping is being revealed. Look at that! Exhibit A, a mirror glass cabinet. Wow, that's full on, isn't it? There's method to her madness. And it's happy wife, happy life. I, I'm a little bit more probably glamorous and extravagant and Tyson's more practical. I, I look at those tables and just think Liberace. This worries me slightly. It's a knob to open the drawer with. Haven't put it on yet, but... We differ from each other in our design styles. Um, well, Tyson doesn't have any. No, I do. <laughs> Yours are just so camp, it's just not funny. Very kitschy. There's your pink champagne on ice. So half an hour to go, curtains aren't up, so it's all a bit of a race. Once we're hanging them, we realise we don't have enough hooks on the actual rail, so it doesn't look the best. Hey, Rach. Yes, darling? Guess what? One of yes. our bedside tables is black. They didn't seem to phase us. You know what? It actually could be quite cool. Could it? Why not? By this stage, we just wanted paint on the walls, carpet on the floors, and furniture. God, if only it was 10 past 10, eh? Oh, f Richard. There's less than half an hour to go until the couple's first room reveal on the Block NZ. And at house number two, the nerves are beginning to show. God, if only it was 10 past 10, eh? I broke a mirror. Luckily we had three. We got anything else we can put there instead? No, there is nothing else. Oh. oh. There are not very good hooks for these, eh? Well, we'll find something else then. So nothing was going right in that last sort of half an hour. I think they'll get the gist of our overall design. So. Got, you know, minutes left and I'm having an absolute mere trying to hang out doors. I can tell he's getting hideously frustrated and there's just nothing he can do. We had a piece of furniture to go in our room and at the last minute it didn't fit. Not going to fit! Oh. We had nowhere to put it so we thought, oh what, we'll just put it in the closet. Go, go, go! Guys, how are you? So, you guys, four fantastic runes, but now for the tough part. We've got to find a winner out of those runes. You'll be judged on two criteria, design and execution. So I guess it's time now to bring in the executioners. <laughs> no idea. So you guys turn off the wild bean for a coffee. Awesome. I'll you see you back here at the tool shed later for judgment time. 
hope the judges aren't going to be too harsh. Um, I know they're, they're professionals and that's what they do, so they'll probably be expecting a very high standard. The rooms will be judged by one of the country's finest designers, Stuart Harris, of Martin Hughes Architecture Interiors, and top North Shore real estate agent, Victoria Bidwell, from Bailey's. And first up, they're inspecting Ginny and Reese's second bedroom in house number four. We're all happy with our room. We've got everything in there that we purchased. So it is disappointing because we know that if we had more time, there should have been um, more pieces in the room. What are your initial impressions? Well, I think if I was a buyer walking in here, I'd think it's very safe. It hasn't got a lot of personality in it. The layout of the room's not great, you know, with the desk squeezed up into the corner. And those bloody bedside cabinets are driving me nuts because I'm going to have to... <laughs> I was hoping you were going to turn, turn one of those around. around. It's much better. Something that bothers curtains. me is the way they hang those curtains. <laughs> right, well, obviously stress for time, but, you know, again, attention to detail. I feel again they haven't quite got there. Victoria and Stuart's next stop is Libby and Ben's at house number three. I don't think the big ideas came off. We're just really frustrated we couldn't finish it to our usual high standards. Well, I think that Ben and Livy have made a great job in here. It's a definite statement. It's very individual and it's I think got it's got a nice style. urban feel to it. It feels young and fresh. I think I would have to make the comment that this is a second bedroom and in a property of this type, often it's going to be bought by a family with young yes. children. So they'd be looking at putting two single beds in here. As much as I like that bed in. It's a little bit site specific. Yeah. I love the fact that they've done something very specific with the art. Apparently they've taken the old skirting boards and they've had them professionally framed, which I think has made all the difference. Yeah. Oh, whoopsie. Great but wardrobes, the... dreadful paint job. Yeah, it's and, probably and the worst I've seen. Well. No, we need yeah. to get them back paint. in. You really couldn't market a house with this sort of paint. It's a shame because it's a room that's got lots of personality. It has. It doesn't feel like a room that you'd walk into a shop and see in a setting. Yeah. It feels like a real room that people have put thought into. It's got definitely individuality. And so to Rachel and Tyson's at house number one. Our room is a fusion of lots of different ideas. We're a mountain pot here in New Zealand. Initial impression when I walk in, mad woman's knitting. We've got Scandinavian, we've got cottage, we've got country, we've got glam. A little bit confused. I'd have to agree with you, Stuart. The feature wall would have been better not to have done it. She papered it herself and it's obviously uh, her first attempt at wallpapering. A shame because, you know, immediately your eye goes to the fact that it's not well executed. What I do like about it is they have got somewhere to chill out between the two windows and I think that's a big plus. The bedside cabinets don't match in colour but I'm not sure why that is. And the other thing, this beautiful mirrored glam cabinet is meant to go between the wardrobe door and the entry door didn't fit. So really, you've got to do your homework before you start shopping. I'm finding it difficult to actually overweigh positive to the negatives. The judge's last stop is Sarah and Richards. I think we're really happy with the way our room turned out. There's obviously a couple of things that we didn't get time to finish off. Overall, I think everything worked colour-wise and style-wise and flow-wise and things like that. Wow. Initial impressions? Yeah, it's a lovely soft bedroom colour, don't you think? By the use of the colours, they've actually opened the room up. Yeah. I like the fact they've personalised it. I That's like good. the decoration items, i.e. the shadow box and the shelf. The bed's very dominant, isn't it? It yes. sort of fills up the room. They've got a very small desk with an uncomfortable stool. There's nowhere to sit. What do you think about the quality of the paintwork? Uh, not good. A bit messy Hinges. all down here. This is a bit messy. And the doors. Should we have a look at the, oh, needed to shave a bit more off. Hey, but uh, look, this is a great wardrobe system. Well, I think Richard and Sarah have done a great job of transforming it from a state house into something that doesn't feel like a state house anymore. Given their ages, 21 and 24, I just think they've done an amazing job. I think the fact that they've done renovations before is clearly showing in this room. Hi, Mark. Victoria, Stuart. Hi, Mark. Finally, you've been in there for hours. Are you going to come to a decision? Well, I've got a very clear winner. Unfortunately, I haven't got a clear winner. I'm, you know. You yes. are going to have to come to a decision oh, because we need agreement. Yes, I know. I might have to go and have a little fight. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up, there's a lot of stake here. Which couple will take out the first room? <laughs> Just one week ago, these rooms were a wreck. Now they are finished beautifully, and our judges have decided on a winner. 
feeling nervous. Trembling, actually. I don't know if it's part of the cold or just the adrenaline. Or having not slept after. for 36 hours. We did it. That's all we needed. That was our sense of accomplishment. Yeah. Whether or not we'd won, even if we'd come last, we still had a room. Hello, hello, hello. The judges have been through all your rooms and come to a decision. There's a lot at stake here this week. The winner's getting a Prezi card loaded with $3,000 cash from Kiwi Bank. $3,000 cash. It would be awesome. That extra cash would help with their renovations and towards the end goal of getting the biggest prize come auction day. Victoria and Stuart were both very impressed with the finishings of all your rooms. They like your work, but they are very hard markers and they both agreed that there is a lot of room for improvement. Now, each team will receive a mark out of 10 for both design and execution. That's a possible score of 20. Let's start with design and we'll start with house number one, Rachel and Tyson. The judges felt here that the design's confused collection of different styles, but there was lots of personality, and you put a really good individual stamp on it. For design, 4.5. How tough are they? Well, they are tough. Yeah, they are tough. Yeah, I told you. I was actually holding back on the whole personality thing, so I will take that on board. Sarah and Richard. The judges thought you had lovely soft bedroom colour. The bed would have been more suited to a master bedroom. No thought given to comfort, such as somewhere to sit in the room. But you must have impressed them somewhat because they gave you six and a half. Whoa. Libby and Ben. The judges felt that it really makes a statement and shows individuality and a nice, fresh, urban feel. But be careful of a headboard that a buyer cannot change. We did discuss that a fair amount during the week. And in the end, we kind of thought it was best to fix it on because it would be executed far better. Seven. Awesome. And a half. Well done. Well Thank done. You, Ginny and Reese. The judges felt that your design was very safe but tasteful. Not really special enough. Yeah. 3.5. We did really like it, but we knew it was safe. So it was definitely missing something. Those are your design scores. So we need to move to the second part, execution. And of course, this will decide who the winner is. But I think what I'll do is I'll yeah. turn this round. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whoa, that's pretty tricky. All right, Rachel and Tyson. The judges felt it's probably best not to do your own wallpapering. That was our first time. Sarah and Richard. The execution, I think a couple of things but sort of did let us Had a couple down, of mares. So. <laughs> Libby and Ben. They need to be sent to paint school. We need to go to paint school, apparently. There's some harsh comments coming out from the judges. And finally, Ginny and Reese. <laughs> the drapes. Shocking. Oh, dear. I didn't like our drapes. I mean, it was rushed. I mean, I don't know if they know that that was put up in, like, 15 minutes to go. So I promise you that the judges were hard markers. You all got there. They have been tough, but we have a winner. Sierra and Rich could be the dark horse in this race. They seem quite impressed with what they had done. One mark here or there, and we could be overtaken by those guys. So the winners of week one and a $3,000 Prezi card from Kiwi Bank... With a score of 11 and a half out of 20, Libby and Ben. <laughs> it was just a relief, eh? There's so much effort had gone in there. Won the first one, it's awesome. Wouldn't that shine now? Personally, I feel like we've been pipped at the post again. <laughs> it's so frustrating, you know? You just really want to have some reward, and especially, you know, a $3,000 reward. In third place, on 9 out of 20, Rachel and Tyson. I am just happy that we finished the room, and so any results are a good result. 
not feeling the greatest about it. We did work our ass off, yeah, so... Yeah. it hurts a little bit. Yeah, it's a bit gathering. So it's the first room, guys. You know, I know these scores are really tough, but, you know, it's better off that they score you tough now, that you get some good feedback and you learn. They want to see a little bit more of the human factor, put some personality in there, warm them up, OK? But I think it's time to give you your money. <laughs> yeah. Well done, Libby and Ben Cohen here. You are the winners of the week one of renovation, the second bedroom, $3,000 loaded onto this Prezi card from <laughs> Kiwi Bank. You can spend it in store or you can spend it online. Congratulations. Good, I'll Thank give it to you, the Hold some purse strings. I think the judges have been pretty tough, but I mean, it is the first week. It's good for everyone to get a bit of a reality check. That's it. You've just renovated your first rooms. Yeah. Congratulations. Away well, you go. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. See you later. The couples at least have a bedroom, but with nine rooms still to go, tomorrow a new room challenge will be set. Start your next challenge with support from the right team. We can help make your home the best on your block. Bunnings Warehouse, helping build the Block NZ. Next time on the Block NZ, we reveal the next room to be made over. We're going to have to change everything. And our cash strap contestants will need to turn trash that is choice. into treasure. I think it's quite new ground for everyone. Get these pieces built. But as the heat comes on, the cracks start to show. Here's Johnny. Want to go home? <laughs>